In this tutorial, I discuss perfect competition with a mathematical explanation, some calculus as well. This is the third video in a series of three. The first video was just an introduction. The second video I used numbers, and this third video I'm using calculus and some mathematical explanations. The gist of this video is showing how profits change as quantity increases and proving that profit is maximized when marginal cost equals marginal revenue. As you can see here, as quantity increases, profit's not constant. And this is, again, due to diminishing marginal returns. And profit is maximized at that quantity where the slope of the tangent line is equal to zero. The slope is the change in profit divided by the change in quantity. So as quantity change, how does profits change? That little delta, that triangle is change in, it has a D or delta, and I'll use D, D pi, or that little symbol there is used for profit often in economics text, divided by the change in quantity. This is the first derivative of the profit line, and again we're asking how does profits change as quantity increases? The first derivative is always the slope of the tangent line. And we're trying to figure out the quantity where profit's maximized. And that's where the slope is equal to zero. So I take the first derivative and set it equal to zero and solve. And that's my answer. Profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. Profit is equal to price times quantity because that's total revenue minus total cost. Total cost is a function of quantity, and let me show you the graph review. And as quantity increases, total cost is not fixed and it changes. So I would put in total cost is a function of quantity, and I write it like that. So profit is equal to P, which is price, times quantity, P times quantity, P times Q, minus Total cost is a function of quantity. Now I'm going to break down total cost into its two components. Total cost is a function of quantity. And total variable cost is a function of quantity. And total fixed costs, those are the graphs. So total cost is a function of quantity is equal to total variable cost is a function of quantity plus total fixed cost. So now I just substitute that back in right there, and it all makes it negative because I'm subtracting it. So I take the change in profit divided by the change in quantity is equal to price times quantity, the change in price times quantity divided by change in quantity. Also, how does the change in total variable cost change with quantity? And finally, how does total fixed cost change with quantity? Changes in quantity. So let me show you this here, quantity and total cost. I'm going to draw the total fixed cost curve in. Notice it doesn't change with quantity. It is fixed. So I can disregard that. It would be zero. Now I'm going to use proper calculus notation. And so I can write this as uh, D, which is change in price over quantity, divided by the change in quantity, and that D still means change, minus the change in total variable cost divided by the change in quantity. And I'm taking the first derivative. The first derivative is P on the first part, minus TVC prime as a function of quantity. Now I set this and I solve for zero. The first derivative of the total cost curve is marginal cost. Now I have the first derivative is equal to, I'm going to set it equal to zero. So I'd have price minus marginal cost, I'll substitute that in, is equal to zero. Now I add marginal cost to both sides of the equation. I'm going to solve for P. Those two cancel out. So P is equal to marginal cost. So the first derivative is equal to zero. 
when price is equal to marginal cost. So we conclude profit is maximized at this point, but I'm not done yet. I have to show you a few more things. I'm going to draw back in the profit curve like that. I'm going to take the quantity and drag it straight down. So the quantity is the same. And on the vertical axis, I put cost per unit. And we'll put price or marginal revenue in the marginal cost curve. So if I take that point where profit is maximized and I draw straight down, that's where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. So marginal cost is equal to price is equal to marginal revenue at that point. So profit is maximized when marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. And I can rewrite that as price is equal to MC is equal to MR. So this is a proof of profit is maximized at the point where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. If you haven't watched the first two videos, I would encourage you to do so.